If you're using a Mio XM with a iConnectivity Play Audio 12, there are many, many ways to connect these devices together. But I wanna show you my favorite way and what I think is the best way to connect these devices together when they are in close proximity to each other. Okay, so in my last video, I talked about giving your Play Audio 12 superpowers. In fact, we created one of my favorite thumbnails for that. Uh, I've linked to that in the description of this video. Uh, and, and I shared some reasons why you should uh, purchase a Mio XM and add it to your Play Audio 12. I'm not going to get into that in this particular video. But in this scenario, uh, I have my Play Audio 12 here. You can see it's already connected. It's powered up. Let's actually put it on the right scene there for a second. Um, and right next to it, I have my Mio XM. So both of these are next to each other, again, in close proximity. There are lots of different ways to connect these devices. I want to talk a specific context. So let's say we are uh, maybe have these racked up together. We have the, the eye connectivity rack. We have them together. Um, they're next to each other on, on our drum riser, whatever it is on our playback rack. Uh, they're close to each other. A couple different ways to connect them. We could connect via RTP. Uh, we could connect a Mio XM and split MIDI between both of our computers with multiple RTP connections. Um, uh, we, we could connect a few different ways. Point of all this, I wanna share my favorite way when we're in close proximity, and that's to connect using this guy. Uh, this is the USB DAW port on the Mio XM. We're gonna connect this to the USB host port on the Play Audio 12. Now, I know everyone that comments on YouTube videos tells me, for the love of God, get to the point, man. I'm gonna show you how to do this in just a second, but I wanna tell you why I think it's uh, this is a good choice. If we're gonna connect these devices via RTP, I know a lot of folks that, uh, for example, let's go back here to show you, would take the Ethernet port from the Mio XM and connect it to the Ethernet port, uh, port uh, connect it to the Ethernet port pops uh, on the Play Audio 12. Uh, I don't know where that voice came from. Um, those people aren't stupid people, primarily because I used to do that. That's how I used to connect these devices when I first got them. And there's some benefits to that and some cool uses of that. But the biggest downside to that is that only gives me four discrete connections between devices. I know, bear with me, I'm gonna show you the exact setup in a second. Um, but if we're connecting RTP, the Play Audio 12 only has four RTP ports. So if I'm using ethernet, that means I only have four discrete connections from the XM to the Play Audio 12. The way I'm gonna show you again, using a USB connection from the USB DAW on the Mio XM to the USB host port on the Play Audio 12 uh, is to give us uh, eight discrete connections. Now we can get 16 channels per connection, eight times 16, not great at math, I think is about three billion connections. So uh, let's connect them, we'll talk about what we need to do to make this happen. So I have a whole slew of uh, USB cables here, and we're gonna start with this guy. And again, I'm gonna show you, walk you through this process. I'm gonna take this one, plug into the USB DAW port. This is the port, like if you were connecting the XM to your computer, this is the same port you would use. USB DAW uh, port is the same port you would use on your computer, right? So. Back to the Play Audio 12, show you the front of this. Again, this is already connected to my computer. Um, I'm not gonna connect a second computer here, but uh, you'll kind of see like this is the same process on both machines, right? So um, I'm gonna plug the other end of this cable here. You know what the other end of the USB cable looks like. At least I hope you do if you're using these gear, pieces of gear and running tracks on stage. Um, okay, both of these are connected. So again, USB DAW to USB host on our Play Audio 12. The only one that is physically connected to our computer right now is the Play Audio 12, which is super nice. Now, let's open Oracle for X series here. Uh, I'll put the link in the description of this video. Um, and this uh, this is a software, free control software for my connectivity that allows us to um, configure and set up and control uh, our interfaces from iConnectivity. Okay, so I'm getting this open. That's why you're staring at my lovely face for a little longer than normal. And uh, here we go, got this guy open here. So here's what we see. I see my Play Doh 12, I see my Mio XM. I'll mention at some point in some previous version of firmware and or version of Oracle for X series, I used to not be able to see both devices when I was connected this way. So if you only see one, restart Oracle for X series, reopen, Make sure your firmware is up to date on both devices as well as you're using the, the most recent version of Oracle for X series. Now pay no attention to this prompting me to update my Flat Audio 12's firmware. We're just gonna roll with it. Okay, so uh, let's, let's continue walking through the scenario. I have two devices connected this way. Why would I do this? Uh, it allows me, again, to have eight disc discrete connections here. Um, I can send uh, 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 redundant MIDI from my, both of my Ableton machines or whatever DAW you're using through the Play Audio 12, through one of those eight ports to the Mio XM. So I could do all four of my DIN ports. Um, I could do, I don't know, whatever else you want to, more USB ports uh, from the XM to the Play Audio 12. Uh, have eight connections, and, and here's, the, here's the beauty of this. 
Doing it this way, when I go into uh, Ableton and I go to Link Tempo MIDI, the way those connections will show up in my computer is host one through eight. So if you're on your secondary computer, they'll show up as host one through eight on your secondary machine as well too. And host one through eight is my eight connections from my Mio XM, okay? Hopefully that makes sense to you. So um, let me add one other piece to this. Let's, let's confuse it a little more. And then we'll talk about our MIDI, uh, our MIDI routing here. So I'm gonna take another uh, USB cable. Um, I look like I'm uh, running a USB factory over here with the amount of USB cables I have. So we're gonna plug this into the back of this USB. Let's turn that so you can see it. Pl plug this into the back USB MIDI host port. Okay, just like that. And then we'll take the other end of this. This is becoming quite a mess, but uh, <clears throat> this is not a how to organize your life or your desk channel. This is how to use gear on stage. Okay, so plug this in here. This is gonna boot up, this is going to be powered. So uh, let's talk about our setup now. Again, I apologize for the mess. Uh, my Oak, Oak Tone Oak Board Slide Duo is connected to a USB host port on my Mio XM. As we talked about, I believe in last week's video, one of the videos, I'll link to all of this, all the videos in this series. Um, uh, whenever I'm using a USB device, I've gotta do a USB host port reservation, okay? So let's go here on our XM, let's go to USB host reservation. I wanna make sure I pick a host port. Um, I'm just gonna use this one and I've got my Oakboard Slide Duo selected there, okay? That is good, that's set, that's ready to go. Now let's let's tell our Play Audio 12, hey, uh, Play Audio 12, I want you to take um, eight connections from our Mio XM, and I want you to pass those to the, the Play Audio 12, like receive many from eight different things on the Mio XM. Here's the easiest way I think to do this, okay? So I'm gonna go into uh, USB host reservation. And again, you're going, well, why are you doing that? You're not connecting a MIDI controller. No, I'm not, but I'm connecting a device. Um, and I wanna say, let's use eight ports from that device to connect to our Play Audio 12. Okay, it'll make sense in a second. So you can see our eight host ports here. And I've already done a host port reservation here. And what I'm reserving is I'm saying, I want uh, host port one on my Play Audio 12. So I'm looking at my Play Audio 12 here. So let's go back out so you can see Play Audio 12, USB host reservation. I'm looking at my Play Audio 12, host one, I want to be port five on my Mio XM, and we go all the way through to host eight, I wanna be port 12 on my Mio XM. Now why in the world would I choose uh, port five through port 12 as opposed to port one through port eight on my Mio XM? I wanna explain that in just a second, but before I do, uh, I just wanna ask you to consider subscribing. You're watching this for free, I'm glad you are, uh, but if you like content like this, if you like learning, going in depth, you're kind of a nerd, you gotta be a nerd if you're watching this content. If you are, consider subscribing and enabling the bell icon. I post a brand new tutorial every single day, 10 a.m. Central, uh, and I don't want you to miss out on the next one. Okay, so back at this, I've got port five, I'll show you one more time, port five through port 12, are connected to uh, host port one through host port eight on the Play Audio 12. Why am I doing this? Well, just to make it really simple, if I go into the Mio XM here, okay, and I go to MIDI routing, um, let's look at uh, device port to computer DAW, okay? So the default pass-through ports here, uh, this basically means that if I were to connect this directly to my computer, this is what would show up in Ableton, right? these, whatever the 16 ports, whatever this is, I'm really bad at math. However many ports this is, this is what would show up in Ableton, okay? So um, what I am doing is I'm basically saying, whatever the defaults are for host port one um, on my Mio XM, I want them just to continue to pass through. So if you look at this, port one, two, three, four, <gasps> look at that, port five all the way through port 12, okay? So host port one on the Mio XM, the way I've set this up is, when I plug something in and route it to host port one on the Mio XM, that is by default going to go to host port one on the Play Audio 12. Now the reality is, if you're very smart, you're thinking a layer deeper, you could technically rename all of this and you could change port one that's right now set for DIN one to be whatever you want to, but just to make it really straightforward, this is the default state of this. I'm gonna just leave everything alone. I'm not gonna change any routing on my XM right now. I'm just literally gonna go into USB host port and do port five through port 12. Okay, again, the YouTube comments hate when I like show you a little more and explain why, but I, I don't care. You're smart, so I wanna explain that to you. So I've got this set up now. So let's complete our path here. So one, by looking at this, what this means is I, again, have eight discrete ports from my iConnectivity, from my XM into my Play Audio 12. That means if I connect something to the Mio XM and it's routed to go to host one, guess how it shows up in Ableton? If I go preferences, command, comma, link, tempo, MIDI, it's gonna show up as host one through my Play Audio 12. If I go to host eight, it's gonna show up host eight here, okay? 
Again, hopefully that makes sense. That's why I'm doing it that way. Okay, it's a little kind of peek behind the curtain. So let's let's finish this path now. Okay, so uh, let's complete our path. Oop, I unplugged my cable here. There we go. Okay, we're back. Uh, let's complete our path here. I have again uh, my Oakboard Slide Duo into my XM, and then my XM is connected to my Play Audio 12. Okay, let's let's do all our routing here. Let's double check our routing so that this can get into Ableton. So I think this is the default state of routing, but let's double check. We've done our USB host port reservation. We're on our XM, okay, host one. So I wanna make sure, I know it's default, but let's go into MIDI routing. What's our source? Our source is host one. I wanna make sure that host one goes to host one on our device port to computer doll. It does, okay? So if I reserve host one by default, it's going to go to host one here, okay? And then let's just, let me walk you through the signal path here because I think this is beneficial. Uh, USB host port reservation. Port five, again, port five equals host one, okay? Is going to go to host one on our Play Audio 12. So let's try this out. Let's do some mini mapping, Command M. We're gonna click play here, press play on my controller. You see that that maps all the way through. These are like the four default mini mappings that I do just by default. Um, and with that, my MIDI is going from my, let's show you the overhead CC, from my Oakboard Slide Duo to my Mio XM. Let's talk the whole signal path to host one. Host one is going out of port five of my USB DAW connection into my Play Audio 12 host port, which is host one. So we've gone from host one to host one, going into Ableton and showing up as host one on my Play Audio 12. Let's walk through one final scenario because I want to bring all this together. That's, that's like a very specific scenario. Let's say that we want to, let's go backwards this time, okay? And what I like about this is this backwards bit would work from both machines. So because we're doing redundancy and we're, uh, you know, if I send many from both Ableton machines down a certain host port, um, it's only gonna send one time, right? For scene one, it's gonna send from computer A, it's not gonna also send from computer B. If computer A goes down and we switch to scene B, then it's gonna only send from computer B. Hopefully that makes sense, okay. So uh, let's go back into Ableton for a second. Let's go to preferences. Let's say we wanna use our uh, out port here. So let's do play audio 12. Uh, let's do out and let's send MIDI from Ableton's, Ableton's tracks here to host port two, okay? So let's just go in, uh, let's create a MIDI thing here. Let's call this presets, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and we'll call this preset one, right? And then we're just gonna go and make this a, a program change one, if I ever remember on live 11.2 where those are, okay? Uh, program one, MIDI two, we're gonna do play audio 12 host two, right? Because I define that's the connection back to my, uh, from my play audio 12 back to my Mio XM. So, uh, let's go to our Mio XM now. Let's go to Oracle for X series. And we have said, let's take MIDI from our Ableton machine. And I would stress, I would go to my second machine here too, and I would enable on the output Play Audio 12 Host 2 so that that's consistent for both of these, right? Uh, so both of my machines are sending out of Host 2 in this hypothetical scenario in which Will isn't lazy and actually sets up two computers, but um, you know this is the best you get. Um, okay, so uh, let's go back through this and let's walk through this. Now, how are we getting from our Play Audio 12 back to our XM? Because let's say in this hypothetical scenario, I wanna send that particular program changed message out of DIN 1, okay? So I'm gonna come out of my five pin output here and I wanna connect that to a keyboard, okay? So I wanna take those program change messages from Ableton, which is host two, right? Host two, I wanna to come to DIN one output. We're just talking hypothet hypothetical scenarios here, okay? Um, so let's, let's see what we're doing here. Let's go to MIDI routing. What is the source of our MIDI routing? The source of our MIDI routing is host two, okay? Host two or port six, because we count one, two, three, four, five, six. Host two from our device port to computer DAW. Okay, so that's coming from there. Where do we want to send it? Right now, it's it's doing like a, a I don't want to say feedback loop because that obviously has negative connotations in MIDI world, but it's completing, it's doing like a complete circle. It's saying, let's take from our computer to host two, not necessarily a complete circle, but it's returning it to whatever would be connected to host two uh, from our USB host port on our XM. Okay, hopefully I'm not confusing too much. I've said host a thousand times. I want to disconnect this because what do we want to do? In our hypothetical non-lazy will scenario, we want to take MIDI from host two from our computer here from Ableton host two, and we want that to come out of DIN port one on our XM. Okay, so here's what our routing would look like for that. Okay, host two from Ableton, which is both machines, right? Um, but only one machine at a time. We want to send it to DIN port, and we said DIN one. Okay, so what that means is now 
host 2 coming from Ableton, both computer A and computer B, is sending through our Play Audio 12. It's going through this host port into this USB DAW port. It's going to port 6 on this, which shows up to this device as, as host 2, right? Uh, it comes into here, and then we say, okay, take that signal, psh, psh, come out of DIN 1 out port, okay? So what I would be able to do in this scenario, again, you can see our, our routing there. What I'd be able to do in this scenario is connect a, a, a five pin DIN cable to the output of my DIN 1 connection on my XM, and then that would get back to my gear. Again, from both of my Ableton devices, which that's the beauty of this, Ableton Computer 1 and Computer 2 sending MIDI at the same time, but I'm only uh, receiving from one computer at a time. That's the beauty of the Play Audio 12 with the Mini XM. So again, a thousand different ways to connect these devices. We could do RTP. We could um, plug into our Mio XM and do two RTP connections to two different computers. But if you're in close proximity, I think the easiest way to do this is just connect your Mio XM for the USB DAW port into the USB host port on your Play Audio 12. I talked a lot about that and showed you, but the default routing is basically set up to do that, right? You really have to change no default routing to get stuff from your XM to your Play Audio 12. Um, um, and you have eight discrete ports as opposed to four if we're doing RTP. So if you like this kind of content, again, do me a favor, uh, consider subscribing, enabling the bell icon. I think you're really gonna wanna do that because the next scenario we're gonna talk about, particularly uh, with these two devices, is doing this in what I call a satellite setup. That's a scenario and a setup where um, my Play Audio 12 is on stage in my computer and my Mio XM is connected via RTP 10 feet away, 20 feet away, 100 feet away, 300 feet away. Um, how do we connect and get these devices to talk in that scenario? To see that, hit subscribe, enable the bell icon, um, and hope you have a fantastic day. Hopefully no more bad impersonations in our next video. Take care, bye everybody.